Hello students, how are you? Let's start our class number seven. Today is April 20th. So uh, let's go to, let's start the unit three, unit three, okay? Let's go to the page 47, 47. So here we have unit three, a place to learn. We are going to start the unit three now. Uh, this activity from, from page 47, this activity, you're going to do by yourself, you're going to do alone, ok? Uh, page 47. Então, pessoal, página 47, vocês vão fazer aí, tá? Eu vou corrigir na próxima aula, no próximo vídeo que nós tivermos, ok? So, let's go to the page 48. Então, vamos para a página 48. Page 48. Language 1. Match the school facilities to their definitions. You may use a dictionary to help you. Pay attention, guys. You have here auditorium, auditorium, bathroom, cafeteria, gymnasium, uh, lab. Here you can say lab, okay? Lab, a laboratory, a library, principal's office, and a swimming pool. So let's do, let's match, let's match, match, match the school facilities. So letter A, a type of restaurant. A type of restaurant is a cafeteria, number three. B, a room where people do science experiments. It's a laboratory, laboratory, okay? C, a place with special equipment for doing physical exercises is a gymnasium, number four, gymnasium. Pay attention, students, a uh, gymnasium, we can say gym, okay, gym, we can say a gym, a gym, a gym means academia, okay, gym. D, a structure filled with water for practicing aquatic sports. It's a swimming pool, swimming pool. Number eight, swimming pool, swimming pool. Letter E, a room where the school principal works, okay? A room where school principal works. It's number... Number seven, a principal's office. Letter F, a large room for speeches, lectures, and stage. Is a auditorium, number one. G, a place where there is a toilet. Do you know toilet? Toilet means bathroom, bathroom, or restroom. So, we have a number two, bathroom. Letter H, a room that contains a collection of books. Number six, a library, library. Two, label the images using the words expressions from the box. Let's repeat now. Correction flute, correction flute, eraser. Eraser, pen, pencil, pencil, pencil case, whiteboard. So now here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's label the images. So number one, what is what is this? What is this? This is a pencil case. Pencil case. Two, this is a, what is this? This is a eraser, eraser, eraser. In, uh, in the British English, no inglês britânico, galera, lá na Inglaterra, borracha, a gente pode falar também rubber, assim, ó, rubber. Rubber, rubber, borracha, ok? Rubber, eraser. Number three, number three. This is a board, a board. This is a board, okay? So we have here a 
whiteboard, whiteboard. Number four, what is number four? Number four is a pencil, pencil. Number five, number five, pen, pen. And number six, we have the correction fluid, correction fluid, okay? So let's continue. Read the sentences and circle the correct T options. These are the lockers. Students keep their books, notebooks, and other school stuff here. The words in bold are examples of school. Pessoal, essas palavrinhas aqui, ó, em negrito. Ok? Keep their books, notebooks. Uh, of school. They are objects or they are uniform? They are objects. Ok? Two. They are in the singular or plural form? They are in the plural. Plural form. Ok? Plural form. Ok? Remember, here we have as, books, and notebooks. Ok? Plural form. Pay attention here. We have the plural nouns. Plural nouns. Plural. Okay? Nouns. Pen. In plural form, pens. Library. Library. In plural form, we say libraries. Libraries. Watch. Watch. Watches. Watches. Paper clip. Paper clips. Okay? Uh, we have, in English, uh, some rules for the plural form of nouns. The plural form of nouns. We have some rules. Let's see the rules. Pay attention. Singular is when we have just one. Is the singular form. When we have one, we say singular. When we have two or more, we say plural. Okay? More than one. So, now pay attention. In the singular form, we have a flower and in the plural, we have flowers. Flowers. Week, plural form, weeks. A nice place, nice places. These hat, pay attention, hat. This is a hat, okay? A hat. These hat. These hats, these hats, okay? So, pay attention, a flower, here we have one flower. And here, flowers, we have one and two flowers, okay? Now the spelling, so, spelling. Então, como que a gente vai escrever agora? So, we have S, S, H, C, H, and X. When the word ends, ends. When the word ends. Então, quando a palavra terminar. When the word ends. Quando a palavra terminar em as, s, h, c, a, or x, we are going to put e, s, e, s, ok? Então, quando a palavra, no caso, o substantivo, terminar em s, s, h, c, h, ou x, nós iremos acrescentar ES para fazer o plural. Então, olha só os exemplos. Bus, buses. Dish, dishes. Então, ends in S, ends in SH, ok? Dishes. Church, ends in CH, churches. Box, boxes. Tá ok, pessoal? Entenderam aí? Então, quando o substantivo terminar em S, SH, CH ou X... Para fazer o plural, nós iremos acrescentar S. Next. O. When the word ends in O, quando a palavra, então, terminar em O, nós iremos acrescentar também o quê? Yes. Então, nós temos o que aqui? Potato. Potatoes. Why? Então, olha só. Quando o substantivo terminar em Y, nós iremos acrescentar IES. Mas a gente vai tirar o Y. Então, olha só. Baby, tira o Y, fica babies. Dictionary, tira o Y, dictionaries. Party, tira o Y, parties. Ok?
Olha só aqui, ó, essas aqui, ó, essas terminações, quando o Y for precedido de uma vogal, ó, A, E e O. Então, quando o Y for precedido de uma vogal, quando vier uma vogal antes, a gente vai fazer o quê? Só colocar S. Então, quando vier com, com, com vogal aqui, ó, quando o Y vier depois de uma vogal, nós não iremos tirar o Y, vamos só acrescentar o S. Então, they... Ó, oh, terminou aqui, ó, oh, vem antes uma vogal, fica days. Monkey, ó, oh, termina em Y, mas vem uma vogal antes, então fica monkeys. Boy, boys, ok? Ó, oh, substantivos que terminarem em F e FE. A gente vai fazer o quê? Vamos acrescentar VES. Então, nós vamos tirar o F e acrescentar VES, ó. Oh. Shelf, shelf, fica shelves, leaf, folha, leaves, folhas, wife, esposa, wives, esposas. Então, ó, terminou em F, a gente vai fazer o quê? Tira o F e coloca VES. Leaf, tira o F e coloca VES. Ok, pessoal? Se você se tiver rápido, vocês não tiverem conseguindo entender, volta um pouquinho em vídeo e pega a, a e continua a explicação, tá ok? Irregular plural forms. Mas o que acontece? Uh, in some cases, in some cases, we have the irregular plural forms. Então, no inglês nós também temos alguns substantivos que são irregulares. A gente não tem como fazer o plural colocando s, s ou s. Então, a gente vai fazer o plural como? Nós iremos fazer o plural utilizando uma forma diferente. Então, olha só. Man. Man é one. One man. Então, homem. Um homem. Mais de um homem. Agora são homens. We call man. A gente só vai mudar aqui, ó. Man. Man. Ok? Olha, eu tenho então. One man. Two man. Ok? Woman, women, mesma coisa, vai, vai mudar aqui, ó. Woman, women. Child, 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 criança. Crianças fica children, children. Child, children. Ox, ox. Aqui, ó, ox. Isso aqui, ó, ox. Ox, and we have... Oxen. So, one ox, two oxen, plural form. A mouse, a mouse, or mice. So, we have here. So, we have here. A mouse, we have one, and mice, two, okay? Mice. Lows and lees, okay? Foot, feet. Foot, Feet, tooth, tooth. Então, ó, one, tooth, two, teeth, teeth. A goose, goose, one goose, two, geese, geese. So, let's go back to the book. Activity four, count and write the plural nouns. Number one, a glue stick. So we have here one, two, three, four, and five glue sticks. Okay? Paint brush. Olha só aqui, galera. Ó. Termina em SH. Ok? So, paint brush. Como é que fica então o plural? Paint brushes. Two paint brushes. Stapler, stapler. This is a stapler. We have one, two, three, four staplers. Four staplers. Dictionary. One, two, and three dictionaries. Olha só, terminou em Y, a gente tem que fazer o quê? Tira o Y e coloca IES. Three dictionaries. Pencil case. Pencil case. One and two pencil 
cases. Cases. Pessoal, vocês então irão realizar a atividade aqui, ó, da página 47, ok? Página 47. E também as atividades da página 49, ok? Aqui, ó. Listening and Speaking. Página 49. Lembre-se que o áudio a gente pega lá na parte final do livro, lá no QR Code, tá? Pessoal, qualquer dúvida, só mandar lá nos comentários que o professor vai estar lá para responder, ok? Bye, bye, students! See you!